hey what's going on guys first take up here welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to show you guys my simple budget studio slash workspace i call it budget because everything i'm about to show you is practically affordable or should i say it is something you can find near you at a low cost or at no cost at all yeah it is still a work in progress a lot still need to be done to turn into a full studio but hey this is what i have why not just show you yeah, this is where I make my videos, the tools I use in making my videos, and basically everything about Fred Stackup workspace. So without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into the video. But hey, if you haven't already, please kindly hit on that subscribe button down below to join this awesome family. And be sure to turn on your post notifications so you get alerted whenever I upload a new video like this one. Alright, so starting up with my decks here, this deck was locally made by a local carpenter around me and it comes with two drawers as you can see here. There's nothing too fancy about it but I've had it for some time now and I've had no issues with it. So on my decks here is this little candle light here. So when you light it up, it comes with some nice fragrance just to keep it going. So the next thing on my desk is the laptop. So this is a MacBook Pro from 2012. I've had this laptop for more than six years now and it's been working. It's fine though I upgraded the internals from 4GB of RAM to 8GB. Then I changed the hard drive to SSD which makes things a little bit easier for me especially when I want to edit my videos because this is what I have, this is what I use in editing my videos. It is very cheap. I think you can get this laptop for less than 150,000 Naira or at about $300 at most. So the next thing on my desk is this mouse that I've been using for some time now. It's the original Logitech MX Performance mouse and it's been great. I like it so much because it comes with some customizable buttons that you can map with your editing program and it's been working fine. So I, I have no need to upgrade it because it's fine. Like. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah, so the next thing is my microphone. So this is the microphone I use in doing my voiceovers and it's been great. It is decent. It's a microphone from Freefine. They actually sent it to me. I've done a review on this microphone. So if you haven't seen that video, links will be in the description box below. Okay, so the next thing is the fake plants here. I love this green plant. So I got it from a store on the roadside and I think it cost about 7,500 Naira and that's about uh, 15 to 16 dollars yeah if I'm not wrong and I believe it should be available on most stores that sells flowers and stuff like that there's nothing much going on with it it's just a fake plant with some LED light so moving on has to be the things on this little table that is under my TV here so this is my slider this is the Edelkron slider version 2 I'll have the links to everything I mentioned in the description box below. So this is what I use in shooting all those smooth B-rolls video you've been seeing on my channel. I love it so much. Next thing here is this Subtick Row 3 DAO. What it does is it just rotates, that's it. So most of the time I just place an object on it or a product that I'm shooting on it for it to just spin and that's basically it. The next thing I have is the chargers for my camera and the slider as well. Okay, so these are some phones that I've been testing. I've actually made a review on these two devices up here. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you browse the channel and check it out. So next to that on the floor here, I have my backdrops. Yeah, so sometimes you'll see me use different background on my video. So these are the backdrops that I use. Okay, so at the center of the workspace, I have a 4K Smart TV from Samsung. I love it for its great viewing angles even though it is an old TV from 2018. It still offers that great viewing experience. It is 50 inch in size and the model number is HU 6900 Series 6. So being a smart TV, watching YouTube and Netflix has been great and the whole experience is impressive. However, I would love to upgrade to the 2020 model. Okay, the next thing I have going on here is this LED strip. I got it for just 1,500 Naira and that's about 
And I have this Eboki hand fan on my wall here. It brings that color accent to my background. On this other side is the same LED strip, but it is blue instead of red. So this is a chair that I've been using. It doesn't have a name. I got it in a store where they sell chairs. And ever since I got it, it's been okay. It's been great. It's just a simple chair that has nothing going. It is not too comfortable to sit on. If you sit on it for a very long time, your back will begin to ache and you begin to feel some pains on your back or even your waist. It is not a practical chair where you can sit for a longer period of time but as a beginner I think it gets the job done. Okay so let's talk about my lighting equipment. So when I started up I used to shoot with sunlight until I was able to get this to soft box right here and I've been shooting with it for the past two years. It's been okay though not as soft as those expensive lights but it has helped me a lot. It is not that nice on skin tone because of the type of diffuser it comes with but if you are to use it mainly for product shots then it's totally fine. It is a light that I would highly recommend you buy if you are just starting up. The next light here is the Godox SL60. This is not an expensive light either but it is the best thing that has happened to my channel right now. It is big, it is soft and mild yet practical. I use it mainly as my key light and if you should check my previous videos you will see the difference it has made. It is a blessing that I have this today and I want to thank you all for all your support and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Moving on is this flat LED panel light from Godox 2. It is the Godox P260C and I use it as my fuel light and also for product shots. I like the fact that it is soft as well even without the diffuser and it is also bright. So the links to everything that I've mentioned will be in the description box below as I mentioned earlier. So the last thing on my workspace here is this couch here. It is a basic 2-in-1 sitter that is very comfortable to sit on especially when I want to watch TV and rest a little bit from work. The last but not least is my camera. It is a Canon T7i and it is a camera that is responsible for all the videos you've seen on my channel right from inception. Don't worry we're going to upgrade to something much better soon and you can help hasten it by subscribing to the channel alright. That's been it guys. Thanks so much for watching. That has been my workspace where I edit my videos, where I shoot my videos. It has not been an easy ride all this while. All these things you've seen today did not just come all at once. It came gradually as the channel progressed. So the end of the story here is if you want to get work done, you don't need the latest and greatest tech or tool to get work done. You can make do with what you have, what is available. There are some less affordable things around you that you can check out to get your work done. Yeah, so that has been it. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It will help me a lot. As I said earlier on, the links to everything will be in the description box below. Those are my affiliate links. If you should use them, it will help support the channel a lot. So that is it guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video, bye bye.